Hello everyone. Today I will be going over spot drilling, drilling, and boring with our birthday cake print. In the fall, we went over facing, turning, and parting off. These next operations will complete this workpiece. I've already created the geometry for our workpiece. So let's get into stock setup and choosing tooling. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is go up to machine. I'm gonna select lathe and go to my Haas uh, lathe here. And you can see uh, the machine group pops up. So I'm gonna click properties and then go to tool settings. All right, so we can give our default program number here. All right, and then I'm going to do my toolpath configuration. So I'm gonna select a few of these. And then we can go into material. So I highly recommend you guys make a revision here, the type of material that you'll be working with uh, for this workpiece. Uh, we will be working with 6061 steel, uh, 6061 aluminum, sorry. So I'm gonna keep this all the same, but uh, for you guys making this workpiece, you would go through this and make the appropriate changes. All right, so now stock setup. So in order to create this, we have to envision uh, a piece of stock in the chuck that we would be making. So if we go to stock setup here uh, at properties and click this, and then we can make our stock. So what we'll do is we'll keep it OD here. We can do a length of four inches and we can do position along the axes, keep this zero and see what this looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So all this is doing is referencing the program this way there's going to be no collisions now we're going to be focusing on this geometry here for the id and the drilling but we need stock setup for the program to reference so we can green check that okay so now the next thing we're going to do is select our spot drill so we're going to come up to here and drill and we're going to choose the appropriate spot drill. I think a half, diam uh, half inch diameter spot drill should do the trick. You can see up here by tool number and offset number that that's tool one, because we just set that in our tool settings over here. So we can put a comment of spot drilling. And then we go up to simple drill, no peck and we put our depth in. So I'm gonna put negative 0.1. Uh, drill spot counter bore, that is good. And drill tip compensation, we're not worried about that. So green check. So here you are. You see this right here? There's our spot drill uh, operation happening. So the next thing we're gonna do is select drill again and we can choose the type of drill that we want to drill this hole all the way through. So I'm gonna choose a half inch drill. And it's scrolling down, found the drill right here, half inch diameter. So I'm gonna select that. Tool number two, offset two. Now I'm not gonna make any adjustments to the feed rate and spindle speed and max spindle speed and all that. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to make the revisions that you want to. So I'll put a comment here. Drilling up. And then I'm gonna to go to simple drill, no peck. I'm gonna to go to depth. And here is where I'm going to select my drill depth. So that's this three inch 0.125 is what I selected for my part geometry. I made it a little bit longer. This way my drill will go all the way through the workpiece. All right, so after selecting our depth, we can move over to the cycle and we can select PEC. And then you can put 
your first, you know, your, 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 your necessary peck depth and whatever you would like to put here. So I'll put 75,000. All right. I uh, don't have to worry about drill tip compensation because uh, I've made my part geometry a bit longer, but if you wanted to, you could click that. Green check. All right, so our spot drill is there and here is our actual drill. So if I select these operations, I'll click this green arrow up here. You got a check mark here, check mark here, and I will go to back plot. I'm gonna slow this down and we can see how it goes. You can see down here in the bottom left, uh, the position of the tool as it's getting closer to the workpiece. It takes a minute, you know, you could speed it up. Uh, I like to just let it wait. There's our spot drill. And here's our drill. Peck drilling. Okay, that looks good. All right, so that back plot looked good. Next thing we're gonna do is start roughing out this area here and then eventually finish it. So if we come up to here and we go rough, we're going to select a partial chain. You hover over it, this is partial. This one is chain, we're gonna do partial chain. We're gonna select the beginning of our ge geometry and the end of it. Now, if you guys uh, try doing this and your arrows are going the wrong way, you can hit this button down here, reverse, and we'll change it. Once you get your chain, you can just green check. And we're gonna select our tooling. So we're gonna be going scrolling down to the bottom here, looking for a boring bar. And let's try this one right here. 0.375 diameter, ID rough. Uh, we may have to make uh, adjustments to this depending on the tooling that we have in the lab, but we'll start off with this one here. And tool number three and three. Uh, all these feeds and speeds here, you guys can change accordingly. But I'll put here ID roughing in the comment. Now I'll move over to rough parameters. So the depth of cut, you guys can make this whatever you like. I'm gonna put 25 thou. Stock to leave in the X, uh, 10 thou, uh, that's good. Diameter, stock to leave on the Z. I like to make this a little bit smaller, 3 thou. And uh, one thing that we wanna go in and change is our lead in and lead out. So uh, we're just gonna make this length here a little bit smaller. Uh, this way we avoid any collisions. So the length for our lead in will be 20 thou and for our lead out, we'll make it 20 thou. And then we'll green check. And uh, everything else looks good here. So we'll green check again. So here is our roughing. Pretty straightforward. And we'll do one more. We'll go up here and we'll select finish. And it's gonna ask us to select our geometry. So we wanna be on chain, uh, partial chain. We'll select the beginning and then the end. Green check. We'll use the same bar. I finish. I need finish. Um, you can change these feeds and speeds accordingly. And finish parameters. Finish step over 10 thou. That's fine. Number of passes one. Stock to leave zero. Uh, uh, stock to leave in the X zero, stock to leave in the Z zero, that's all good. Lead in and lead out. We're gonna make this the same as the roughing to avoid any collisions. Green check and green check. 
So you can see that these lines don't actually match up with our geometry right here. Uh, that's when the uh, tool nose tool tool nose radius compensation is going to come in. And if we watch the back plot, you'll see that it actually follows the geometry of the workpiece. I'll pull it up right now for you guys. And uh, back plot. And we'll start it. Oh, that happened pretty quick. Let's see if we can get that to go again. Right? So you can see this angle right here, this chamfer, it's on the geometry, even though that cutting line is up here. That's because of tool nose radius compensation. Let's see if we can get a view up here. Here it comes, and follows the geometry. That's what we want. Okay, I've now opened up the Mastercam simulator. To get to this screen, you want to hit uh, this button here, Verify Selected Operations and it will bring you to here. So I went up to verify and I went to uh, color loop and this way it will change colors, the IDs, depending on the operation that's happening. So I've uh, slowed down the simulator options here and I'm gonna hit play. So it's spot drill, now it's drilling. Now it's roughing, and then it finished. All right. So if we scroll in here and look at it, and we got the chamfer, we got a little radius in there, and our ID looks good. Now um, the drill didn't go through the entire part, right? So if we this is the back of the part. If we look, it doesn't go through. But since the OD work has already been done on this workpiece and it's already to size, we know that our drilling operation will go through. So all we're doing by creating this stock is to get the stock dimension so there's no collisions with the tools. So that's spot drilling, drilling, and boring with Mastercam. Very simple, didn't get into too much uh, you know, crazy things. Make sure that you uh, adjust your speeds and feeds appropriately. And if you have any questions, reach out to me by email or come see me in the lab. I hope this helps.